I'm really enjoying this actually, and it might just be because it's 115 degrees out. Hey, I'm Cameron, and I've been to Canada and Mexico. I'm Clint, and I was an electrical technician in the United States Navy. Today we have a cinnamon roll frappuccino from Starbucks. It looks like they sprinkled cinnamon on top. This is what we've talked about before. Listen, X company, here's what you're good at. Try doing more of that. Starbucks, you're good at frappuccinos. Try doing that. Stop making these ridiculous things that no one cares about. People care about frappuccinos. I don't personally, but I know that a lot of people, people do. do. People do. As our experience has shown, like they have no idea how to make these new flavors taste anything like what they're supposed no. to. This being a cinnamon roll frappuccino, I'm guessing it's going to be like apple pie flavor. <laughs> but uh, this seems like it would be pretty easy to do. You would think so. Well, let's try it out. All right. It is very buttery. Super buttery. This is the butter frappuccino. Butter, cinnamon butter, cinnamon sugar butter. When I was little, I had this babysitter, and she was like, hey, you kids should uh, put uh, this toast, and then you should put butter, cinnamon sugar on it. And we're like, what? And we tried cinnamon it. Cinnamon toast. And this is what it tastes like to me. That's cinnamon toast. Very buttery. Um, as far as cinnamon roll goes, cinnamon toast would be a better name for it. I wouldn't say you really messed up on making a cinnamon roll flavor drink, but I, you definitely didn't nail it. Cinnamon toast. But, as far as like creamy cinnamon dessert kind of shake things, there's not a lot of options out there, I don't think. It's almost more like a holiday thing. Cinnamon is a Christmas thing. I like this, but I'll never get it. Right, that's a good way to explain it. Yeah. 26 out of 37. 31 out of 37. I do want to point out, tasty but not accurate. Thanks for tuning in to the two-minute reviews. 